Let me show you today a technique in Power Query that is kind of a lookup and click up without merging tables. So let's start. Here I have an Excel file. And on the first tab, I have the store, the item number, and the sales. I go from row 2 to row 5,958. And the next uh, tab is my dimensional table, and I have unique item numbers, the item description, and the item group. And I go from row 2 to row 35 only, because it's, uh, as I said, it's just unique numbers. I'm going to go back to my sales. And from here, I'm going to right click inside of the range and I'm going to select the data from table range so we can pass this to uh, Power Query. And here Excel is asking if my table has headers. I has the check mark here. It has headers. I'm going to say OK. So it, it converts this into a table so it, it can pass it to Power Query. And here the Power Query editor opens Ctrl C plus to zoom in. I'm going to remove the last step that Power Query has created for me. And the table that was created is called table four. So I'm going to uh, press F2 or double click to edit, and I'm going to rename it as demo. I already passed the dimensional table here, the item. Let's go back to our query demo and take a look to the code that Power Query has created for us. So it brought the information from the current workbook, and I'm just going to remove this portion so we can check what Power Query is doing from here. So I'm going to Control X to remove it right now to cut, and I'm going to press Enter. So the current workbook has table four, so the table that we wanted to pass to Power Query, but also has the dimensional table, which is called Team Items. That is the name of that table, and the new table was called table four, remember? So for Power Query to select this specific table, it has to access to this field. So control V to paste. And what it's doing is bringing name table four. So it has to identify first the name of the item that wants to bring. And from there, it's going to bring that information from the column content. Let me remove content, control X to remove it to, uh, and keep it, let's say. And I'm going to press enter. When Power Query access to that name table four, what it's bringing is a record, and the record has two fields, content and name. To access to one of these fields or to bring the information inside of a field, we need to provide one set of square brackets. So we open the set of square brackets and we say content. That is the field that I want to bring. So I want to bring the content, which is this table. Press Enter, and that's how Power Query brought that table for us. And I'm mentioning this because we're going to do something similar today to bring the information that is here on the column item description. I want to bring it here as a new column. So we are going to access to that information in a similar way. So here on the formula bar, I'm going to click it effects. And from there, after the equal, I'm going to say table add column because I want to bring this into a new column. Oh, before I do that, let me remove this part because I want to expand the formula bar so we have room if the formula goes into two lines. So now I table add column, open parentheses to the table that is coming from my uh, step source, which is this table we are seeing here. That's where I want to add that new column. And the new column is going to be called um, item name. Um, that is inside of quotation marks because it's a text. Comma. And what do I want to bring or to process inside of the new column? So first, I need to provide the keyword each. That is a keyword for a function. And from there, we're going to bring information from our query dim items. And I need to provide the curly brackets first to have access. And then I'm going to provide one set of square brackets. And I'm going to say item number. That is the name of the column in the team items or query. From there, I'm going to say equal. And now I want that, that, that item number equals the item that I have in this table. Here, this column item, I want that the item that I'm going to bring from the team items is going to be equal to the item 
number that I have here. So that's going to be item, and I need to provide the name of the column inside of one set of square brackets. And from there, I go to the end, close parentheses, and let's see what I get. So I'm going to press Enter, and of course, I get a record. Remember, when we look into the code in the previous step, I, we got a record. And from there, we had to access to, an to a specific field. In this case, we want to access to the field called item description. So here, before the closing parentheses for the table at column, and after my curly bracket, I'm going to provide one set of square brackets, and I'm going to say item description. Go to the end, press enter, and here I have the name of my item. That simple. We can.